This is the Eagle's Nest, and I'm your host, Jeff Percaro. And today we have a guest, Haley Smith, with us. Haley, tell us a little bit about yourself, what sports you're doing, and what events you do. Hey, thanks for having me, Jeff. Um, I do cross country and I do long distance track. So I run the mile and the 800. And every once in a while, I get thrown into doing the two mile and the 400 too. Great. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of running. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fun. That's, kind of. <laughs> That's great. So speaking of running, what have you been doing to keep yourself busy during this time where we've had no sports or things going on? Yeah, so I've still been running actually and training, even though I don't have a season. Uh, I'm training for a half marathon right now. I mean, a full marathon, not a half, sorry, a full marathon. So I'm still running every day. Um, but besides running, I've just been hanging out with family and just enjoying time with them before I leave to college. So, yeah. Okay. So speaking of college, what, what are you doing after you graduate? So the plan is I'm going to go to BYU and I'm not exactly sure what I want to major in yet, but I want to go into the STEM field because I love math and science. So, yeah. That's awesome. That's great to hear that you're interested in that kind of stuff. A lot of people don't know this, but my day job, I'm actually have been in computer programming and managed engineers and stuff for a long time. So STEM is, is a big part of my life. So that's cool. Good that's job. Awesome. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we talk a little bit about when uh, you go out to compete and you're getting ready for a race, whether it's cross country or, or track, what do you do to kind of get into the zone and get ready to be able to compete? Um, my teammates, we like to say a pinky prayer before we compete. So we like link pinkies and we pray and that really helps calms, calm my butterflies and, um, makes me feel reassured that I can do it. And another thing that helps a lot is to think about all the work that I've put into it and how far I've come and, um, that helps confidence a lot and helps me know that I can compete to the best of my ability because I put in the work before. So, yeah. Okay. So you've done a lot of running and you do a lot of running to, to get ready for the competitions and stuff. Talk to me a little bit about what you and your teammates do to keep practice or keep those workouts fun. Oh man. Um, <laughs> Honestly, cross country and track would be the worst sports without teammates because they make practice so fun. They make running fun. Um, we, <laughs> it seems like we're always in snowball fights or water fights or puddle fights um, in practice. Um, I don't know. We tease each other a lot and keep practice fun and cheer each other on when we need it. But it's just like a second family and they keep something that is really hard fun. So I love my teammates. <laughs> that's great. And that's a, that's an important part of being a member of a team. And even in sports where you're competing individually, um, there's still that camaraderie and um, you know, people cheering you on and working with you. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, we, we talk a little bit about, you know, during this time, a lot of people have potentially been binge watching and doing other things, you know, to kind of fill, <laughs> fill the extra hours of the day. And, and so one of our questions is what is your favorite sports themed movie and why? Okay. So my favorite movie of all time is actually the Sandlot. So I do have to say, that's my favorite sports movie, but um, as far <laughs> as inspirational, I would say um, Unbroken. I don't know if that even really counts as a sports movie, but um, it's about Louis Zamperini and he competes in track, but then 
he gets, you know, abandoned out seas and he gets thrown into a concentration camp. And it's just so amazing to see him overcome all of that and see um, what the human can do. And I don't know, it's just a really inspirational movie to me and keeps me working hard. Yeah, that, that is a great movie. And those, I love the Sandlot too. That's, that's one of my all time favorites. <laughs> it's a great, great yeah. flick. So, so kind of thinking on the same line of questioning, who would you say is your inspirational sports hero or somebody that you look up to? Um, this one is hard for me to decide because there's so many amazing athletes out there. And um, But if I had to choose one, it would probably be Catherine Switzer. Not many people like know about her, but she was the first woman who ran a marathon. Mm. And it was in the 70s when a lot of people thought like running was bad for women and like that they couldn't do it. And <laughs> so she started the race and people started running after her to try to get her to stop racing, <laughs> but she kept on running and she finished the whole thing. And I don't know, it just broke a lot of barriers and paved a path for all the women that run today. So <laughs> yeah, she's that's, really inspirational. That's a great one. And I, I think I've seen some of photos and stuff from that event where the people were trying to get her to stop. And that's, that's great that sports has come so far from those days, definitely. Um, what age were you when you started running? Um, I actually didn't find running until a lot later. I competed in a lot of sports, but I didn't really love any of them. And I just wasn't, I didn't feel like I was very good at them either, but I did a 10K in eighth grade and it actually went really bad. Like I did not do good, but I don't know. I just kept on being drawn back to the sport. Like I just loved the feeling I got when I ran and I loved the environment and all the people that I ran with. And so I did cross country in ninth grade okay. and I've run and competed ever since. So, yeah. Yeah. That's great. And so in all of this time that you've been competing and running, I'm sure there's a lot of great cross country uh, venues that you've been at, as well as a lot of different uh, tracks. Where is your favorite place that you've competed so far? Oh, um, that one is also a hard question. I, I've loved so many courses and tracks we've run on, but I'd have to say the Olympic ice oval up in Kearns, just because it's a really fast um, track. Mm -hmm. I've gotten P PRs on it and world records have been broken on it. And it's just a really fun place to race. And the track goes around a skating rink. So there's all these skaters and <laughs> I don't know, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, it's a good place to get good times. Okay, cool. Um, and, and now that you're, you know, a senior and, and school is about done and you'll be moving on, what words of advice would you have for your teammates or for those other athletes that would follow behind you? Um, I think that I would say, this sounds cliche, but to just enjoy every practice like find something that you enjoy about it enjoy the time that you do have because it's been really disappointing to have my senior season cut off and so I've been reflecting a lot on the um, times that I've had and I just wish that I would have enjoyed like the everyday a little more just um, bond with people more too yeah and this this year's been you know awful and horrible uh with all the stuff going on and and so you know that's that's great advice for all of us to take um one of the last questions i have is is what what would probably be your favorite memory from all of these years of competing and and running and everything else what what would you say that favorite memory is 
Oh man. Oh, there's so many memories that I, I love. Um, if I had to choose one though, it would probably have been this year when both girls and boys made it to state for cross country at regions. It was just such a good, good time for all of us because um, all of our hard work had paid off and we made it um, to state together as a team. And it was just a moment of celebration and pure happiness mixed with a little bit of runner's high. <laughs> and, oh man, it was just so fun. But yeah, and that, yeah I'd have to say that was it. And that was a great opportunity for both teams, both the boys and girls teams. Uh, I happened to be there at that uh, regional meet um, taking photos. And so it was, it was a lot of fun to be involved with uh, you guys having that opportunity. So I, I want to thank you for taking time with us today. And, um, you know, we, we appreciate you being willing to talk to us. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. Um, so basically, we, we've been talking with Haley Smith, a senior cross country and track athlete from Maple Mountain. And we want to make sure that everyone gets an opportunity to, as I bring these up on the screen, uh, follow our social media. We have a YouTube channel, we have Instagram, and we have Facebook, which is all Maple Mountain Sports, all one word. And then for our Twitter, it is Maple MTN Sports. And we basically want you to follow, like, subscribe, do all those fun things so that you can keep track of what's going on at Maple Mountain. And again, I am your host, Jeff Porcaro, and this is the Eagle's Nest. <laughs>